Unit 2, Lesson 12, Navigating a Table of Equivalent Ratios. Number 1. Priya collected 2,400 grams of pennies in a fundraiser. Each penny has a mass of 2.5 grams. How much money did Priya raise? If you get stuck, consider using the table. So if one penny is equivalent to 2.5 grams, 10 pennies would be equivalent to 25 grams. And how I did that, there's an imaginary decimal point right there, and if I'm going to turn a 1 into a 10, it really means that I'm scooting the decimal point over one place, one place over to the right to make it 10 times larger, I'd need to do it here too. So if I scooted it over here, it becomes a 25. I could follow that same pattern and make it 100, 10 times larger than the 10. Multiply by 10. 10 times 10 equals 100. We need to do that over here. 25 times 10, really, we're just scooting the decimal place over and it becomes 250. And we can do that again. Move this decimal place over, it becomes 1,000, making it 10 times bigger than 100. And we can do that on this side too. Make this 10 times bigger, it becomes 2,500. So now we have some information that we can use. We have the number of pennies, and we have the mass in grams. The mass in grams that we're looking for is 2,400. If 1,000 pennies equals 2,500 grams, then how many pennies equals 2,400 grams? 2,400 equals how many pennies? Well, this one's too large, 2,500, so we'll get rid of this one. But we can use this. We can count by 250. Number two, Kieran reads five pages in 20 minutes. He spends the same amount of time per page. How long will it take him to read 11 pages? If you get stuck, consider using the table. 20 to five. Five multiplied by its reciprocal gets you to one. So five times one fifth equals one, or five divided by five equals one. So we need to divide this side by five. 20 divided by five equals four. So the ratio of 20 to five is equal to the ratio of four to one. One times 11 equals 11. So four times 11 is going to equal 44. So in 44 minutes, Kieran can read 11 pages. In four minutes, Kieran reads one page. And in 20 minutes, Kieran reads five pages. Number three, Mai is making personal pizzas. For four pizzas, she uses 10 ounces of cheese. Four pizzas, 10 ounces of cheese. So I know that two pizzas would be half of that. So that'd be five ounces. Half of two is one, and half of five is 2.5. So these are pizzas, and these are ounces of cheese. So for every one pizza, she uses 2.5 ounces of cheese. A. How much cheese does my use per pizza? We figured that out already. So we could go right here, four to 10, two to five, and one to 2.5. 
just like we did here. We had four to 10 at the bottom, and here we have four to 10 at the top, it doesn't matter. 2.5 ounces of cheese per pizza. B, at this rate, how much cheese will she need to make 15 pizzas? 10 pizzas, that would be 10 times bigger than one, so she would use 10 times more cheese. Instead of 2.5 ounces, it would be 25 ounces, because we moved the decimal over one place to make it 10 times larger. So 10 pizzas would equal 25 ounces of cheese. Well, this was for 10. We need to find out for 15, so we need 15 pizzas. Well, we know that 10 is 25, What's half of 10? Five. So if we add these together, 10 plus five, we're gonna get 15. So what's half of 25? 12.5. Five plus two is seven, two plus one is three. So for 15 pizzas, it's gonna take 37.5 ounces. 37.5 ounces of cheese. We could always test that out by taking one and multiplying it by 15 and taking 25 ounces and multiplying that by 15. So one times 15 gets you to 15 pizzas and 25 times 15 will get you to the amount of cheese needed for 15 pizzas. Five times five is 25, two times five is 10, plus two is 12. 5 times 1 is 5, 2 times 1 is 2, 5, 7, 3, 375. Oh, and this was a decimal. This should have been 2.5. So we're really multiplying it by 2.5, which means we need to make our answer 10 times smaller. So we have 37.5, 37.5. So to answer B, 37.5 ounces of cheese for every 15 pizzas. Number four, Claire is paid $900 for five hours of work. At this rate, how many seconds does it take for her to earn 25 cents? First, let's figure out what she's going to be paid for one hour of work. So we have a ratio of $90 to five hours of work. Let's just make that now one hour of work. So what did we do to the five to make it one hour? Dividing it by five. Five divided by five brings me to one. We need to do 90 divided by five. Let's do that now. 90 divided by five. How many times does five go into nine? Once. One times five is five, or left over, bring down the zero. How many times does five go into 40? Eight. Eight times five is exactly 40. We have no remainder and nothing left to bring down, so that would be 18. 18. So it looks like it's $18 for one hour. $18 for every one hour. So remember, they're asking us how many seconds does it take to earn 25 cents? I'm going to break this hour down into minutes. One hour is 60 minutes. So it's $18 for every 60 minutes. How many seconds are in one minute? 60. So let's multiply this by 60 and we'll know how many seconds we're talking about. So this answer down here will be seconds. Zero times zero is zero. Six times zero is zero. Placeholder, zero times six is zero. Six times six is 36. So when we're talking about seconds, we're talking about 3,600 seconds. So 3,600 seconds. 3,600 seconds. For $18, that's the same as one hour. 3,600 seconds should be the same as one hour. And in one hour, Claire is paid $18. They're talking about 25 cents. That's the same as one quarter. One quarter is 25 cents. So how many quarters in one dollar? One dollar equals four quarters.
To earn 25 cents, Claire would have to work for 50 seconds. It would take Claire 50 seconds to earn 25 cents. Number five, a car that travels 20 miles in one half hour at constant speed is traveling at the same speed as a car that travels 30 miles in three fourths hour at a constant speed. Explain or show why. This is miles and this is hour. Let's put our 20 miles here and our half hour here. Since they talked about three fourths, we can put our three fourths below the half because we know that a half is the same as two fourths. And then above the half, we would just have one fourth. One fourth is half of a half. So what is half of 20? 10. So for every one fourth of an hour, it travels 10 miles. So really in the miles section, we're counting by tens. So here where it says miles, we're gonna count by tens. 10, 20, 30, 40. And over here in the hours section, we're counting by quarter of an hour, which is really 15 minutes, but we're listing it as a quarter of an hour. One quarter, two quarters, which is the same as one half. One half plus another quarter equals three quarters. Let me say it like this. One quarter, two quarter, three quarter, and then finally four quarters, which is the same as one whole hour. So to find or to prove that it goes 30 miles in three-fourths of an hour, we can use this chart. Number six, Lynn makes her favorite juice blend by mixing cranberry juice with apple juice in the ratio shown on the double number line. Complete the diagram to show smaller and larger batches that would taste the same as Lynn's favorite blend. We want it to taste the same as Lynn's favorite blend. So nine divided by three would be three. So it looks like we're counting by threes. Zero to three, three to six, three to six, six to nine, nine to 12, 12 to 15. Apple juice. 21 divided by three is going to be seven. So it looks like they're counting by seven. Seven, 14, 21, 28, 35. So here's some smaller and larger batches that would taste exactly the same. A three to seven ratio of cranberry juice to apple juice, a six to 14 ratio, a nine to 21 ratio, a 12 to 28 ratio, 
and a 15 to 35 ratio. Number seven, each of these is a pair of equivalent ratios. For each pair, explain why they are equivalent ratios or draw a representation that shows why they are equivalent ratios. A. I like this one because it's using the same digits. It uses this six and the zero right here, and it uses the four and the five right here. So really we just made 600 10 times smaller by moving the decimal over. And we made the 450 10 times smaller by moving the decimal over. 60 is exactly 10 times smaller than 600 and 45 is exactly 10 times smaller than 450. B, 60 to 45 and four to three. Sixty and forty-five are both divisible by three. Sixty divided by three is twenty, and forty-five divided by three is fifteen, and even these are divisible by five. So twenty divided by five is four, and fifteen divided by five is three. So we have just proved that sixty to forty-five is an equivalent ratio as four to three. 60 to 45, 20 to 15, 4 to 3. These are all equivalent ratios. C, 600 to 450 and 4 to 3. I know that both these numbers are divisible by 3. 600 divided by 3 is 200. 450 divided by 3 is 150. Both these numbers are divisible by 50. 200 divided by 50 is 4. And 150 divided by 50 is 3. So we've just proved that 600 to 450 is equivalent to 4 to 3. 600 to 450, 200 to 150, 4 to 3. They're all equivalent ratios. Congratulations, you've just completed Lesson 2, Unit 12, Navigating a Table of Equivalent Ratios.